Hello there, this is my acetone um, tutorial. I um, just want to give a little bit of um, previous information um, that you are going to actually have to um, get the skill of sanding. Um, even though I do, you can just dip it straight and it will look great, but you will still get subtle banding because of, of just the inaccuracy of the printer. So um, if you want it truly perfect, you know, I've obviously got some problems there, the nose is all squashed because it was finishing on there. If you don't want that to happen, then either make the nose a lot bigger or just have a little stick that you can sand down afterwards because right now I've kind of chipped the end off because it's been spending too long on there melting it. Or you have something to the side where it keeps on doing that, but I don't bother doing that. Um, so yeah, there are a couple of tiny issues. Um, I'm not sure if it's related to the coupler or not, but anyway, um, I'm just going to sand down these little bits and then um, that's it, I'm going to dip it, um, but I'm honestly not going to spend very long doing it. Um, and then you also have to look for subtle lines, like I don't know if you can see them in the light, but those will be the main lines that you need to sand down. And I'm talking like with really fine sandpaper, so like 400 or 600 mi maximum, minimum I mean, you can feel free to go higher. You just don't want to sand out any of the details and if you use super fine sandpaper then um, there's not really much chance of that. As then you're just trying to make the large smooth areas very smooth because you won't see the lines in all the other stuff because it, it's been printed 0.06 so if you kind of see it in the light, um, yeah, if you see any sort of, alright maybe there's something there, I for, for a fact know there is, um, there are some areas, where are they? But. Anyway, I'm going to come back after I've done a little bit of sanding so you see what I mean. Okay, bye. Oh yeah, I'll just say, um, a good way to spot the lines, actually, is if you just take the sandpaper and, and you loosely just go over it. And that will generally show up any kind of problem areas. Don't worry about being a little bit crude because the acetone will smooth all this stuff out later. So alright, I can see a couple of areas that might need attention. Alright, so in the light you should you can already see a line there, right? You can see the problem areas now, right? So um I'm just gonna do those and then um I'll come back in a second. So that is a good way of like just loosely do it over it and then you see the root, I mean we're talking it's super fine but the sandpaper is so fine that it can bring it out really easily. Okay bye. Alright, I finished messing around with the sandpaper, um, this is what I've got now. So um, you can see um, what I've done, you can see I haven't done anything else other than a bit of sanding. I ended up using 320, the 600 was just taking too long, I've spent about 5 minutes and I've literally just, you know, looked for those weird lines. I mean, I'm not an expert sander, but I can see a line when I, when I see one, you know. So uh, all you've got to do is, you know, look for these telltale lines and just kind of smooth over them like that. And it doesn't matter if you're a little bit rough because 320 isn't fine enough or isn't um, coarse enough to um, cause damage that acetone won't sort out. Anyway. Only done the face, I haven't done anything here as you can see. There, that's what it looks like before. I've done the nose a bit and I've sorted the chin out because there was, I think, a split or something. So I'm not going to be surprised if it splits here or something because I saw that earlier. Anyway, I'm going to bring my vat and we're going to do the dip. Okay, bye. Alright, now normally I wouldn't bother using um, pliers. Where was it there? The pliers to hold it. I just do it with my hands, but for the sake of safety and the purpose of the video, I'm going to do this with the pliers. And um, I'm doing it outside, just outside my porch. So um, yeah, you might want a smaller container. I've had this one for about six, seven months, or since January now. So I'm um, almost seven months, and uh, still going strong. It's a bit murky and skanky, but whatever. That's what happens. Anyway, here goes. I'm going to count in my head 25 seconds, and that's it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I'm 
We'll do 40. It's color fab. I completely forgot that it was color fab. Anyway, that's it. So, um, I'm gonna bring it inside now, so um, you'll see it in a minute. All right, there it is. Um, I actually saw, I still see a couple of lines, like the main ones that I um, I told you about earlier, but um, well, for the sake of it, I'm just gonna let it all go white. We'll let it cool down, because it's still really cold, so you can still tell that the acetone is working. But yeah, when it's finished, I'll come back and analyze it. Okay, bye. All right, this is the final model. Um, yeah, it looks okay. Um, I'll spray it next just so you see the undercoat but um, there you have it that's when it's all done with all of its acetone business I noticed that I came back um, I think what was it an hour later and um, it's a lot smoother than it was right afterwards so if you, you immediately look at it and you think it's I can still see lines on it then um, give it time to work but yeah it looks good Alright, um, next time you'll see I'll be spraying it. Okay, bye.